During this lesson, we'll cover the basics of casting. We'll demonstrate how to properly cast a fly the first time you're on the water. Remember, practice makes perfect. I mean, and even after fly fishing for 30 plus years, I'm still working on my form every day to improve my abilities. We will cover typical overhead casting and a slightly more advanced cast called the roll cast. Both of these are simple moves and can be used on every stretch of water that you fly fish. If you've never picked up a fly rod, please go back to our introductory video on rod setup so you have a good understanding of the basics of that fly rod. Before attempting to use a real fly on the river, I recommend you do some practicing in a safe place. Try your backyard, uh, driveway, alleyway, any place you can find that without any obstructions. Next, tie in a thick, bright piece of yarn to the end of your tippet. This will act as your fly for the introductory sessions. This way, you'll be able to cast your heart's desire without worrying about hooking yourself in the process. Trust me, catching one in the back of the head is no fun. First, use your dominant arm for casting. If you're right-handed, use your right hand. If you're left-handed, use your left hand. Start by gripping the rod above the reel, almost like a handshake. Your thumb should rest slightly to the side of the handle. If your fly rod is set up properly, then you should be able to find a balancing point on your rod. If you were to hold your rod with your finger underneath the midpoint, it would be perfectly balanced from left to right. You also want your rod to be relatively in line with your forearm. The fly rod is, in essence, an extension of your arm. Start with it relaxed in your hand with your index finger grasping your fly line below. Think of this as the stopper of your line shooting out into the water. As we work on getting longer casts, I'll show you how to use both hands to pull more line from your reel. This is commonly known as shooting the line, and it gets a lot more interesting as soon as we get further in the lessons. The pick up and the lay down. Now before we cast, it should be noted that what we are actually doing is making two casts, one behind us and then one in front of us. One of the key things for precision casting is making sure that our rod travels in the straightest line possible. If your arm starts to make a figure eight motion, your fly will not have the load needed for the, from the rod to hit the target you're trying to approach. The key is to make sure that you draw a straight line. Imagine the tip of your rod as a pencil, and if you were to draw a line on the wall, you would want it as straight as possible. What we're trying to do is get your fly rod to do all the work. So how do we do this? The weight of your fly line, not the leader or the tippet, is what creates the bend and the force in the fly rod. So make sure you have your line out before casting. On our back cast, we must have a smooth acceleration to a stop and then a pause. And then our forward cast, another smooth acceleration to a stop. This will get our line in a motion that will create a tight loop, transferring energy from the rod down to the line and then allowing your fly to land softly on the water. The back cast. For starters, pull out 10 to 15 feet of your line in front of you. Then start with your rod tip nice and low, imagine that it's touching the water. As you lift your line off the ground, concentrate on having a nice smooth acceleration from front to back. Some people go directly over the head, others go three quarters, similar to a pitcher in baseball. Some cast as if they're skipping rock or throwing sidearm comes down to your personal preference and comfort. So go ahead and try different options until you find one that feels best for you. For beginners, I recommend going straight up and straight down. The key is to make sure you're drawing a straight line. Envision trying to draw that straight line on the wall with a pencil. Imagine a tip of the rod of your pencil, and if you're gonna draw a line on that wall, it's gotta be as straight as possible. As you lift your line out of the water and bring it back over your head, you'll stop around the 10 o'clock location. Pause for a moment and watch your line go all the way back until it's fully extended behind you. When it reaches the apex, start your smooth acceleration forward. If you don't pause and wait, you'll most likely hear a snapping or a crack sound like a whip. This is because your line is not fully extended and you're bringing the movement of the line through way too quickly, and this creates reaction at the fly zone. Make sure you're watching your back cast until you're completely comfortable. This is the best way of making yourself pause so you get full extension of that fly line. As soon as it reaches the end, this is when you start your smooth acceleration forward. The forward cast. As your cast is coming forward, you're not going to drop your rod tip to the water like we did when we first started. Instead, you're going to stop when the rod tip is about eye level and pause there. This will send your fly line shooting forward, making a nice loop presentation where the energy is extended through the fly line and losing most of its energy before it gets to the fly. This will allow your fly to have a nice soft landing. So why is this typically called the pick up and the lay down? When you're underwater and your line is extended, you're in essence picking up the line and then laying it back down. When you're practicing, we immediately went from down to low to 10 o'clock position. When you're on the water, you'll notice that in this case, this is a huge disruption in the water, spooking these elusive trout. So we're gonna add one more stage to this presentation. As your rod trip is down, we're going to slowly bring it up to a parallel level with the water before we start our back cast. This will give you enough line out of the water to start your back cast without disrupting the water surface.
start out and grab your rod to get the feel of the line accelerating off your arm. On the next video, we'll be discussing how to get more line out so you can reach trout from further distances away. So you've been working on your bass cast with your smooth acceleration from a stop and then a pause and onto your forward cast with another smooth acceleration to a stop. And you're probably wondering, okay, this is easy. How do I get the line out to go further? Well, that's easy. It's called shooting the line. Shooting the line is when you start to practice adding your opposing arm into the mix. First, start by having your index finger on your rod engaged on the line. Next, with your opposing arm, pull out additional line from the reel. I typically will only strip out enough line that it touches the water. Any more than that, it typically will get caught up in my boots or my waders. What we're trying to accomplish here is by releasing the trigger finger from the rod hand in just the right moment in the forward cast to let line go shooting out. So how do we do this? As you're accelerating through your forehand cast, look for your line to start to make its final curl. As soon as it makes its nice big loop, you can release your index finger, the trigger, and the weight of the movement of the line will carry the excess out towards your target. Keep a secure hold on your line with your opposing hand as this will help guide the line to its final resting spot, and you'll be able to get ready to start stripping or mending in for a line for a perfect presentation to that fish. Like with most sports, this takes practice, so don't get frustrated if you don't nail this technique on the first try. But in the minute you do, you're going to have to start having personal distance tournaments with yourself to see how far you can get that line out. On the next video, we're going to talk about a technique called rolled casting. This is where if you're in a tight situation with a tree or bush behind you, how you're able to extend that fly out to get that location of where that trout is feeding.